Hey everybody, it's your buddy Chimbo. Blue Collar Beer Review. Back at it again, all for y'all. I'm in a remote, secret location. Witness protection, you know, that type of thing. I gotta keep it on a down low. So, don't tell anybody if you notice anything that could give away my location, all right? Let's just keep this between us. So, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to still stay after it, even though I'm in witness protection right now. So, just remember. Shh. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Blue Collar Beer Review. One beer, one take, all for y'all. All right, and we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna do the whole nine yards. We're gonna do the look, listen, and smell. We're gonna do the double dump. And I got a different glass because I had to I had to get out quick. So I couldn't even I couldn't even take my favorite glass with me. So I'm I'm, you know, I'm going with what I got. Yeah, I'm on the lamb. <laughs> this is a new Brothels Brewing Company. And where's New Brothels Brewing, Co Brewing Company? In New Brothels, Texas. It's a wonderful, lovely place. If you haven't been there, you should stop by and say hey. Tell them your old buddy Jimbo sent you. Ah, this beer is a comic dancer. That's what it's called. It's a sour barrel-aged Weizenbach. And, you know... I'm not very good at reading German, but I think it's Weizenbach. I think they say the W with the, the V. So it's a Weizenbach. It's a, it's, what it is, it's supposedly it's a weedy, it's a wheat version of a German style Bach. Or it's a bigger, beefier Duncanweiser. Duncanweiser. So, yeah, it's beefier. So if it's beefier, it's got to be wonderful, right? And it's supposed to have a flavor of it's a it's a bready, it's a real bready malt. It has it's made with dark fruits like uh, like plums, raisins, and grapes. And so it's low in bitterness, and it's high in carbonation. And I've never had one of these. You know, I've had plenty of box, but this, a sour Weizenbach, ah, that's just crazy. I, I, I don't know. So this is, this is we're, we're, we're in new territory here, but it was an intriguing beer when I looked at it and read a little bit about it. So I was like, here we go. Let's do it, right? Why not? I mean, that's what we're here for, to try new beers and, and, and you know, enjoy life with delicious, wonderful beer or bad beer, you know, so I'm hoping this is going to be, you know, I'm not a big fan of sours, but I think this one has a combination that I, I think I'm going to like. So this is a uh, hand bottled and it's um, 16.9 fluid ounces and alcohol by volume. 8.8. 8. So it's a pretty good alcohol by volume. It's definitely a big bottle of beer. It's a thick bottle of beer. Thick! And <laughs> thick and stout. Yeah. Can't beat that, right? So, um, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's checking all the boxes to be a wonderful beer. And it's definitely going to be interesting. And I got this smaller glass, so I'm probably going to have to double, triple, uh, you know, poor, but I, I, I know you guys don't mind. I'll just, I can, I can keep up the pace, you know, so we're just, we're just going to knock it out. I, I don't have my, I got this hotel room, you know, poppy, poppy opener, corky, corky, all purpose thing. So, you know, it's all good. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm just, we're trying new things. You know, when you're in witness protection, you got to just go with the flow. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. 
That has got a great smell to it. I can smell a little of the sour already. So let's give it a little dump. And um, it's supposed to be high in carbonation, so I'm gonna go easy on the pour. But I'm still gonna try to get some life out of it. I'm not gonna be scared. It is most definitely dark. That plum, raisins, and malt. Looks wow, super dark. It's alive. That stuff is loud right there. It's boozy and it's got that little bit of sour smell to it. That little bit of rotten fruit that is just wonderful smell, kind of. So let's, uh, you know, let's just, let's just put it down. We're not even going to cheers to anyone. We're just going to roll. floaty things in it too. That's a bonus. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> it is highly carbonated. And it is most definitely sour. can really it does have a fruity taste to it and I gotta tell you it's one of the better sours I've ever had it's um, it's not one of my favorite beers but it's a it's a flavorful beer and it has a great mouthfeel to it I'm definitely tingly up here it's the front of the mouth my lips right inside my teeth are tingling from this stuff. I think it's really good. I think, um, you know, for a sour, or if you're trying to get into sours, I think this is gonna be something that uh, you should definitely try. It's got a great flavor, good feel to it, and hey, it's Jimbo approved. I like it. It's not bad. For a sour, I like it. So, remember, Keep this on the down low. For once, I'm going to tell you, don't tell anyone nothing. Remember, witness relocation. I'm on the down low. Secret everything. Yo, buddy Jimbo.